guys, welcome to my channel. We are going to be creating this look today using the Juvia's Place The Tribe palette. If you want to see how I accomplish this look, stay tuned. Okay, so first we're gonna start with uh, my brows. We're going to use some translucent powder just to set them to make sure that the brow gel goes on smoothly. I'm using the NYX Brow Gel in the shade Espresso. I'm just going to get these brows in order, clean them up, get them the shape that I want them to be, and then carve them out with concealer. Alright, so now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm blending out the concealer that I use to carve my eyebrows out. Now I'm going to apply the Crayon Case Washable Glue Stick. It's an eyeshadow primer and I'm going to get my eyelids ready for eyeshadow. I'm also going to put tape on my lids because I do want a, a nice crisp corner today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll start on the eyeshadow itself. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and start with the palette itself. I'm going to use this darker, like greenish blue, maybe shade. It's called San, 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 whichever it is. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eyelids. <music> So now I'm going to go in with this light green shade in the palette. It's Tootsie, Tootsie. I don't think it's, I'm, I don't think it's Tootsie Roll, but uh, it's the light green shade that's darker than the other green that's in there. I am going to apply this to the middle of both of my lids, and I'm going to blend that in with the previous color that we used. So now we're going to go in with the matte orange shade. I think it's Aromo. We'll go with that. I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of both of my lids. And I'm going to blend that into the previous color, Tootsie. Oh, <laughs> 
So now what I'm doing is just making sure that all of the colors are applied in a way that I feel is acceptable. I just kind of want them to be vibrant and I want them to be bright and I also don't want them to kind of fade away. So I'm just picking, I'm just making sure that I get them the um, color that I want them to be. So now I'm just taking a fluffy, fluffy blend, blending brush. Jeez, I can't talk. Now I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to melt all of the colors together in a way that I deem acceptable. Now I'm going to go in with this brown shade, Ashanti, rain on me, and I'm going to apply that to the top of where I did all of, um, kind of like my brow bone. So I'm going to apply that to the top just to blend everything together and have it transition nicely. So I originally thought I was done and then I decided that I needed a little bit more pizzazz so I went in with the NYX Cosmetics pigment glue and I put it in the inner corner of my lids. On top of that pigment glue I am going to go ahead and go in with the orange shimmer color in the palette called Curla and I'm going to apply that over top of where I just put the pigment glue. Afterwards, I am going to do the same thing with the middle of my lid. I'm going to apply the pigment glue and then I'm going to take the green color Tootsie and the lighter green color Maasai and apply that there as well just to make sure I'm getting it as dark as I want it to be. After I've gotten to that point, I am going to get the part, the, it's hard to talk right now. I'm going to get the pigment glue and I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my lid and then I'm going to go in with the metallic bluish shade that's in here called Kuba and I'm going to put this on top of that pigment glue and then this part is essentially done. After I finish this part I'm going to go ahead and blend everything together in a way that I deem acceptable and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. So now I'm going to go ahead and start my eyeliner. When I originally started this look, I said to myself, I'm going to do a fox eye. But then I started doing the fox eye and it wasn't, it took me a really long time. So I don't even know if I would recreate this again or maybe I'm going to use a different liner. I'm not really a fan of how long this took me. Eyeliner takes me forever to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt a fox eye and then I'm going to do the other eye and then we'll move on. can see I really wasn't a fan I'm trying to be a fan I, it's not happening for me now I'm gonna go to my lower lash line I'm gonna apply that orange metallic shade Curla and the darker blue shade I think I used the matte one sand and I'm just gonna apply it to my lower lash line on both eyes <laughs> Yes, ma'am, on to lashes. So the way I apply my lashes is I take the lash glue, apply it directly to my lid, and then I stretch my eye back, 
and then I take the lash and I place it while I'm stretching my eye back. It seems to work for me, and that's how I'm going to continue to do my lashes until I find a better way. Finally, we are going to go ahead and get this face situated. I am using the NYX Cosmetic Hydra Touch Oil Primer just to moisturize my skin. Then I'm going in with my trusty dusty LA Girl Green and Red Concealers to cover up my dark marks and my red marks. Remember, red cancels out dark, green cancels out red. What I'm going to do is let this sit so that it really gets the job done and then I'll go ahead and blend it out after I wait a little bit. After I blend this out, I am then going to move on to my foundation. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, I believe it's called, and then I use the shade 330 Toffee. I'm just going to apply this right over the top of that color corrector and blend that out until I feel like your girl is blended to the gods. After I blend that out, then I'm going to go in and use an actual concealer, like a real concealer, not the color correcting kind. I'm going to clean up my under eye just to make sure it's nice and crisp. Um, I'm also going to clean up the edge of my eyeliner. And then I'm going to apply the concealer to the spots where I feel like I need it. So my concealer is blended out. Now I'm going to take a lighter color concealer to do my highlight. I'm applying this under my eyes. I'm also going to apply this to my T-zone a little bit. And then I'm going to skip my nose, the bridge of my nose, and then I'm going to apply it to my chin, wait a bit, and then I'm going to blend it out. <laughs> Now that I've blended out my highlighting concealer, I'm going to take some translucent powder and apply it to each place where I put the concealer to highlight. So underneath my eyes, my chin, and my forehead. Afterwards, I'm going to go in and contour my face using the Fenty Match Stick. I forget the shade, and it's kind of rubbed off on the bottom. Afterwards, I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy brush. Next I'm going in with bronzer and I'm actually applying this over top of where I put my contour shade. Your bronzer should actually sit on the high points of your face so that if the sun were to hit it, that's what gets accentuated. So I'm applying that over top of my cheekbones and like right under where I did all of my contouring. Then I'm going to apply my blush and I'm going to smile a little bit so I can find the apples of my cheek but then I'm going to blend the blush upwards. Next, I'm going to fluff away all of my translucent powder and kind of blend everything together with a big giant fluffy brush. Next, I'm going to contour my nose and I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I saw this on TikTok when I was minding my business like I normally do. Nikki Tutorials did it this way and her makeup looks flawless all the time so I'm going to try it her way. What you do is you take the bronzer that you use and you apply it all over your nose from the um, top the bridge and the tip of your nose. You're going to apply it all over the place. It's going to look crazy, but it's going to be okay. Then you're going to take a face powder that's your complexion, and then you are going to carve out where you want your nose contour to be. That's what you see me doing here. Then you blend it all out, and so it makes more sense, and it looks a lot better, and then you're done. All right, guys, we are almost done. I am going to highlight my little areas now. So I'm going to do the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and my cheekbones. And then I'm also going to go ahead and hit my T-zone. 
specifically my forehead and my lips and the top of my lips not the whole lips but my, the top of my lips and my chin okay let's go ahead and get our lips together i am using the liquid lipstick by sugar pill cosmetics the color is next this is a really pretty nude color it kind of has some pink undertones to it I'm then going to go in with a brown lip liner. I think it's by MAC. Don't know the shade because it's rubbed off. Don't judge me. Um, I'm going to put this around, obviously, my lip line. And then I'm also going to put it kind of like in the middle and like a line down the middle. And then I'm going to kind of blend it together. Afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and set with some setting spray. And then I'm done. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me forever, but that's okay. Make sure to follow, subscribe, put on the notifications, and get ready for the next one. Bye!